Okay, Calvina says, I have a course um, that is best done by guiding them along the way. So I'm launching it live as a group program. I've run beta versions of it in the past with great success. So it's ready to take off. How do you manage the course in between the launches? Ideally, I would love to have people come in at any time and do live launches as a big push. Um, is it a good idea to still allow people in between launches? Or option number two, I can sell a study at your own pace version of the same course throughout the year so that people could come in at any time. But I've tried this also and the results are less successful without me. Option three, do a low ticket that runs all year on Evergreen as a way of people um, to keep people coming in. Okay, in the School of Front Row VIP, we, we take option three off the table, okay? We don't discount. I mean, that's just my rule. So you can take it or leave it, but I don't like the idea of discounting your products, okay? There's other ways to do sort of similar to a discount, but don't, don't do a discount. Low, okay, all right. Well, low Different. ticket version. Let me tell you what I think you should do because I'm starting to ramble. I think that, I mean, I think the most obvious thing to do first is to just start a waiting list. So that's what I did with all my courses before Evergreen is to just start a waiting list, okay? So when the cart opens, you're gonna give those people on the waiting list an early bird offer. Okay, also not a discount. It's just an early bird offer, an extra bonus, whatever. Then if you wanna, but if you wanna put it on Evergreen, the way that can work is that if your calls, so I need to ask you, Calvina, are your calls like the way that we do it in CEO um, and VIP where it's mostly Q&A or are you teaching content on those calls? It's a critique more, Q, more Q&A. So I look at everyone's work. So I actually go through everyone and um, because it's a basically a design course. So um, everyone does their work and I look at it and I send them with my revisions and then they would get the next week's worth of works done and then move on, move on. Or not next week, next day. Um, so, um, so yes, I already have a waiting list and my small ticket is actually completely different. It's almost, I'm thinking like a webinar type of a thing. And then um, it's not a webinar, but like just a, a different, it's a different course separate from that, but it's small, smaller. Well, I think I like the idea of your waiting list in between. I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of simple. I think the thing with evergreen is a lot of times it just depends on execution. So like I was able to evergreen front row CEO so that no matter what, you know, any time of year people can come in, but I had to make sure that like, so how are the calls going to work? Well, I have front row VIP calls already. I've for years, we do Tuesdays at either noon or three. So we were like, well, let's just line up with those dates. So, so now our board meetings are always going to happen one hour prior to our VIP meetings. And it works out great. Um, we, but we have manual stuff we have to do at the end because they only get four board meetings. So we have to, you know, on the back end, we have to keep track of who we no longer let into those calls, right? So it, it, it does get, it sounds simple, but it actually gets quite complicated because then we have upsells we need to deliver to them because we want to upsell them into VIP so that they get continued support, right? Like, so it gets complicated. Also what gets complicated when you, when you do this with Evergreen and the reason you said you tried some similar version, it wasn't successful is because of the urgency and the scarcity. And it's much, if, if a program is truly available year round, you know, you can't say that it's not when you go and try to sell it on Evergreen, there are ways around it. And the way we do that is with expiring bonuses. So, you know, mm. we're like, and we have deadline funnel factored into that. Also incredibly complicated. I, I find it very complicated. I mean, there's just so many moving parts, right? So even though it's Evergreen, if you, if you do not take advantage of the offer by nine o'clock, that offer expires. And so if, even if they go open up an old email, you've seen that before in launches, right? And it says that big red stamp and it's like too late. Well, you could still go to my website and buy it, but you're not, those offers expire, those bonuses expired. And then that way I can be an integrity 
and I'm not lying, but you have to give people scarcity and urgency at, at some level. It just, otherwise people don't move. They just keep putting it off, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to let you talk. Sorry. But in summary, my part, and I'm going to shut up is I, if I were you, I would just stick with the waiting list and keep building excitement about your live launches. I love that. And I thank you so much for that input. Cause that's what I needed to hear. I would love to hear more. Cause I think, um, I know that I'm thinking way ahead and overcomplicating it on this particular launch. I just need to do what, what I need to do, but eventually I do like what you're saying is, um, cause I do remember, um, front row CEO where, um, you know, I entered through the launch. I was a part of the whole launch and I was whole, I was part of the webinar da, da, da. and then like, but there were people that came in later that were a part of the evergreen funnel, but I'm, I'm sure they didn't get, like you said, all of the bonuses and all of the things, but they needed it in that moment and they had missed what they had in the beginning. So I, I would love to hear, like, I don't know if there's a training on that or if there's something that I can kind of get uh, to understand that a little bit more so that I can, um, I mean, it's definitely not something I'm ready to do at the moment, but I would love to be, be able to gear that somehow. For evergreen launching? Yeah. And I, yeah, I guess, yeah, that, I think that's ever, so, so is like, so, um, so front row is evergreen launching, right? And people can come yeah. in at any time. Okay. What we do though is, and, and this is still, we're figuring it out, right? Like it, it, it's, ugh, it's always a process. So we, we stop running ads. If you stop running ads to your evergreen funnel, your mm-hmm. evergreen funnel really withers on the vine. I mean, you, because I can, you know, I still, sales will still come in here and there because again, if you dig for it, you opt in for a freebie here and there that you'll see an opportunity to sign up for it. But for the most part, if I'm not driving directly to ads to that funnel, everything kind of comes to a halt. We do that because now we need to start driving people instead of to the recorded live webinar, we have to now drive people to the live workshop. I'm not the recorded live webinar, the recorded masterclass, whatever. Now we're driving people to the live workshop. And so we turn those ads off and then, and and it's like, when do you do that? Right? Like when is the right time? Is it pre like pre pre pre-launch pre-launch? We don't know. We're just, we're, we're testing. Right. So right now we did it about a month, a month out from our, our launch. So we don't have a training on evergreen funnels, but that's a great idea because um, I do know a lot of evergreen experts. So we can we can bring in somebody to to, to talk about that. Um, but it is something for everybody who has a course. It's like the dream for everybody to have this, you know, money making machine while we sleep, and it really does work, and it really is pretty awesome. But it's you know I have been working on this exhaustively and my and my team with a very talented consultant for a year and it's still I wouldn't say that it's you know it's it's not the golden goose yet you know what I mean so so it is something to aspire to but people just want to go go there right away we we all are like yeah and then I'm going to evergreen it like it like like it was so easy you know what I mean but but it really isn't and so I'm not trying to down, so I'm saying, fo- yeah, focus on this great energy that you've got going, build your raving fans. And then, but just a simple evergreen, having it available, you know, like without like a major fancy funnel, you could do, you could do a simple version of that for sure. So that it is available when, when you're not launching, if you switch from the waiting list option. Got it. Okay. I'm too wordy. Okay. Thank you. Um, no, that was yeah. great. I appreciate Thanks. it.